Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we are going to be looking at James chapter 3. Faith controls the tongue. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the great condemnation. For in many things we have offend all. If any man offend not in the word, the same is a perfect man, and able to brittle the whole body. Behold, we put bits into the horses' mouths, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold, also the ships, which they did be so great, and are driven of fierce winds, Yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor lists. Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasts its great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among uh, our members." that it defiles the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and has set the fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and of bird, and of serpent, and of things in the sea, is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men which are made after this multitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Either a vine, figs, can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? So, this passage is very simple. Our tongues should not have a dual purpose. We should either be speaking blessings, or, unfortunately, a lot of people speak curses. So that is considered foul language or hurtful things. God doesn't want us to do that. He wants us to love others, say wonderful things to people and lift them up. We should not be using our tongues to speak evil, but unfortunately that happens a lot. We need to control our tongues and be mindful of what we say because God wants us to be doing things to show God's love, not hate. Verse 13. Faith produces wisdom. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have a bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. So... There's a theme here to this chapter of the Bible. So far, we need to be people of peace, love, and doing things that God would want us to do. We need to have control, and we need to make sure that we are not being um, devilish. So we need to be representing Christ and not acting bad. This is something that's difficult because our earthly flesh 
um, still clings to sin, but we need to listen to the Holy Spirit so that we can do the right things. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be back again tomorrow for Topics.